morning, everyone. Today is Friday, November 3rd. I'm so glad that you joined us for this very informative webinar on an alternative to the ACA. Obviously, um, most of you are in the individual market, and that's why you're on this webinar today to learn about an alternative that uh, you can actually earn compensation and sell at any time uh, during open enrollment period and even during this special election period. Um, it is something that I think, uh, you know, we've, we've evaluated, we've kind of stayed out, out of this sort of market, the, um, the alternative for, for a while, but I think the time has come and I think there's definitely some opportunity. So we'll get started here in a minute, but uh, again, I wanted to welcome everybody and uh, introduce myself. My name is Deb Wilkinson. I'm the Vice President of the Health Plan Options Department here at URL, and um, I oversee the group health markets as well as what is left of the individual markets in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, just uh, for those of you that have done business with us in the past or those of you that are new to us, a few housekeeping items. Uh, this webinar is being recorded. You will receive a recorded version uh, over the weekend, quite frankly, and um, it, we are encouraging you to ask your questions. You can do that in one of two ways. You can ask questions by either raising the or clicking on the hand icon uh, on the control panel to the right of your screen, or you can type in your questions in the question box and we'll answer those at the end of the webinar. Um, just with a show of hands, hopefully, because of my te technological issues, um, if you can just click and let me know that you can hear us, hear me okay and see my screen, that would be great. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Um, I would be remiss if I did not uh, talk a little bit about URL for those of you that are new. And uh, URL is a full, a full brokerage. We are a full service brokerage, wholesale brokerage that has been in the business for more than 30 years. I've been privileged to be part of this organization for 23 of those 30 years. So I'm very proud of URL and um, you know, what, we, what we offer for the agent community. Um, we did just change our website. Uh, we're guilty of doing what everybody else does <laughs> during open enrollment, changing things up. So we are guilty of that, but uh, it's not as daunting as you think. The ARIES program is where our agent partners will go. And, uh, if you click on here, if you are not a URL agent already, you can go to the login and there is a registration button that you can just enter some information and uh, you know reg register to use our site. But the ARIES portion, again, is really where you need to go for all of the brokerage services, uh, wholesale brokerage services, and um, I'm just going to click on that real quick. Within URL, uh, we are not just health. We do, we have basically five independent silos that uh, are, are, you know, standalone, or, uh, standalone departments within URL. We have our annuity solutions department and that's um, overseen by Joe Corio, who's our senior VP. This is a really unique program, certainly um, it's more of a boutique because of the situation with the annuities, but Joe Corio is, is a wealth of knowledge and there are, there, he's having record years, even in, in the face of low in, interest rates. And, um, you know, so again, if you have interest or, or you want to learn more about how you can earn more revenue on annuities, please reach out to Joe. Our employee benefits, um, again, this is, is, uh, coordinating with our health plan options on the group health plan. So obviously, if you're selling a group health plan, we are strong believers in putting supplemental products into those, uh, and that is head up or is, is overseen, excuse me, by Sam Bohr. Here's our health plan options department, our group health resources, FFM resources. So all of the things that you need, and our quoting tool. We do have an FFM quoting tool. Uh, but you cannot make application through it, but it, it is a, a resource for you to use. Life Markets is head up. I'm sorry, I keep going into that. Uh, our Life Markets is overseen by Steve Clemens and uh, a lot of unique products within the Life Market, as well as disability and critical illness. And then, of course, our Medicare department. Um, 
certainly they're experiencing open enrollment themselves and uh, we, we have a great robust Medicare offerings department. So I, I don't want to um, belabor the point too much, but I do encourage you to go to our website. Additionally, uh, our YouTube channel is where you can click and view all of our past webinars. Um, for those of you that don't know, I run a weekly healthcare reform webinar every Thursday at 930. So all of those webinars, whether it's from health department, life, et cetera, um, are all within this YouTube channel. So again, back to, back to the program at hand. Um, you know, we've, we've come to this point where we're looking at alternatives, obviously because of where the market is going, the pricing is going, and we really see the opportunity for these programs for your, uh, your unsubsidized folks and for, for the folks that miss open enrollment or for those that are just looking for something outside of your ACA program. This can be sold anytime, so you're not restricted to cutting it off on the 15th. And, um, you know, again, I think it's something that we wanted to bring out to you in case you had an interest, and we're here to support you on it. So today we have with us uh, Todd Marley, and this is where we are obtaining this product and the marketing uh, for the product. Todd is the president of Marley Financial Group. He started in the business in 1993 as a prudential insurance agent, and he is a Pennsylvanian. He is uh, from Washington, Pennsylvania, still resides and works in Western PA. Both of his parents were also prudential uh, agents, so it's kind of in his blood, I guess. Um, he says that he tried to make one of his goals to understand the truly complex nature of insurance and financial, and he, he's learned to look at each client situation in its entirety and apply all the resources that are available to him, um, you know, which is what we all do, try to serve our clients the best we can. In 1998, he realized that tax planning can make up to 50% difference in a client's potential income, especially during, especially during retirement years. So, um, you know, definitely have the needs of his client in mind. And in 2006, he became the president of Marley Financial Group, and it's located in 84 PA. Uh, and the rest, I, I guess, Todd, you can say is history. It's uh, certainly been a privilege to get to know you, and we're certainly excited about the um, opportunities that we have to market this program. So I am going to not delay this anymore. I'm going to hand over the controls to Todd. And Todd, please take it away. All right, good morning everybody and happy open enrollment. Well, you know, that was a nice introduction, Deb. I appreciate that. Um, the funny thing is we're talking about health insurance and health insurance was something I absolutely had zero interest in. That's not. I never wanted to sell it. I wanted nothing to do with it. I was a financial guy. I liked the big numbers and crunching and taxes and planning and figuring that kind of stuff out. However, when, you know, our good Congress passed this wonderful bill called the Affordable Care Act, anybody with a brain realized real quickly that this thing was going to be a disaster. And I was always told that whenever there is a disaster, there's typically a seed of equal or greater opportunity somewhere in the mix, you just got to dig through the weeds and find it. And that's what I started to do. I'm like, man, this would be a heck of a puzzle to solve. So I started messing around with it. And basically realized pretty quick that this, you know, we all knew that the ACA was going to blow up, that the premium was going to go through the roof. And I said, we got to be able, there's got to be a way around this. There's got to be a way that Congress always leaves an out, right? They always leave an out. And I'm going, okay, so what did they do? And we started coming up with this program and, about four years ago now, we launched it. I had never sold health insurance before in my life. And within the first three months, was writing somewhere in the vicinity of around 500,000 in AV. And the last three years, each open enrollment was doing around 100,000 in AV. I mean, I'm sorry, almost a million dollars in AV during just that open enrollment period. So. Is there a potential? Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, we're setting records, blowing records through the roof. Uh, we're writing 
so much of this business, I, I, I don't have time to really do anything else. Um, if you have a half decent marketing strategy or you have a half decent you know, book of business or people that are calling you, this is going to fit a good bit of those people. So, for example, if you have any of the small business owners, people that are paying full rack rate for their ACA plans, but are basically healthy, right? Because if you think about it, what's part of the problem with Obamacare, right? It's all these mandated coverages, right? Everybody has to have full maternity. Well, you know, if you're 46 or 47 or 50 or 62, the likelihood of needing maternity is pretty slim. So we all know that this is an expensive benefit. It's part of the reason why healthcare is so expensive. So when we looked at it, we said, okay, how can we strip some of these benefits out? And we started stripping them out, including some of the preventative services. Right, all these different things. We also know that ACA is what guaranteed issue. We know exactly how expensive that uh, how expensive that is. Ask any final expense agent. Right. We know what underwriting is. We understand the concept of risk management and the fact that there is no risk management when it comes to the ACA. That's part of the reason why we're seeing these skyrocketing premiums, high deductibles, copays, and coinsurances. So we looked and said, okay, how can we come up with something that's different? Right? We come up with this thing called the Pro-Life Health Plan. And, and I got to tell you, the reason I use that name is, well, I just found out yesterday, Deb, that our adoption of our little baby girl is going to be uh, official. And on November 8th, she's officially going to become a Marley. So it was something that was important to me personally uh, to not be funding things that I find objectionable like an abortion. So we call it the pro-life health plan. Now, for those of you that that doesn't matter, you can also call it non-Obamacare, which is another terminology we use for our program, non-Obamacare or the pro-life health plan. Now, what we're gonna be talking today about is typically just the pro-life health plan. And the reason I say that is because part of the whole concept is you can provide some kind of an additional health insurance plan that is good for a particular client, but you still have to worry about these pesky little things like penalties, right? The individual mandate by uh, Mr. Obama. So one of the things we did is we figured out how can you become exempt from the law? And then we coupled it with our, our insurance program that actually provides very strong benefits, very little holes, and does so for about 40 to 60% less than an ACA unsubsidized plan right so if somebody's paying you know fourteen hundred bucks a month you know husband and wife you know maybe sixty years old you're paying fourteen hundred bucks a month you got a three thousand dollar deductible seven thousand out of pocket one of the problems that I highlight when I'm you know pitching a particular client is that Obamacare does a great job for the catastrophic it does a great job if you have a hundred thousand dollar claim and you owe seventy three fifty your out of pocket maximum you're relatively satisfied with the insurance coverage you have regardless of its cost however Obamacare is designed to cover the catastrophic well but it does poorly for what's common or normal or average right if you have a five thousand dollar claim and you owe forty five hundred you're not very happy with your insurance and the fact is that 85% of claims are between zero and 10,000. Only 5% of claims are 100. So our plan is actually paid from the bottom up as opposed from the top down like an ACA. And then what we do is we use particular mechanisms to keep you out of the penalty box and then to cover that catastrophic claim. So part of the whole process today is to talk about, you know, who our market is, how you're able to sell it, you're able to sell it year round. And even though our open enrollment season as of this point is relatively short compared to years past, you know, December 15th, I'm not counting out the fact that they may extend it. You never know. They've done it every other year. But the beautiful thing is that you can sell this year round and year round, you can always cancel your ACA plan. So one of the things that we found is even after open enrollment's over, you know, in February or March, after Mr. and Mrs. Klepekowitz have paid their fourteen or fifteen hundred dollar premium for three or four months, and they're both healthy, they're thinking, "My gosh, this is a mortgage payment. Why am I paying this?" And they all of a sudden hear your ad, 
where it says, hey, you can get out of Obamacare at any time and have a pro-life health plan that'll save you, you know, 40 or 50 or 60 percent on your health insurance premiums and still provide you excellent coverage where you can go to any doctor, any hospital, anywhere in the country, the phone continues to ring all year long. And you end up writing a ton of this. And the beautiful part is, is not only do you get, you know, vested renewals and commissions, first year commissions, and those commissions typically blend out because we package sell it, right? Like no different than McDonald's, hot dog or hamburger, French fries and a Coke, right? A number one, we package sell it. And when you package sell it, your blended commission is going to be about 30%. So let's think about that for a second. Just last year, I did just shy of a million in AV in three months. That's over $300,000 in three months of first year commission. And I have a ton of happy clients because not only that, I'm saving them a ton of money and providing excellent coverage. So you'll see here that uh, the policy, the actual contract, the insurance benefits are offered through a company called Philadelphia American. They're based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, Dr. Bill Chen created, bought the company in 1987 and has turned it into a billion dollar company. He started with $2 million. He's done a fantastic job. And, uh, intimately uh, friends with Dr. Bill Chen, and he is a, a fantastic guy and focuses on the consumer. That's his whole mantra. How can we develop plans and products and focus on the consumer? So some of the questions you might be asking is, how do you do it, right? Well, we know that the Affordable Care Act says what? It says that you have to have this minimum essential coverage or you could incur a penalty. So. Let's talk about that for a second. We know that the fine, the penalty, the tax, whatever you want to call it, is $695 per person or 2.5% of your adjusted gross income, whichever is higher. Right? So if you quantify that, that equates to 58 bucks a month per person or more based upon your income. So I pose this simple question. If you were talking to a client who's, say, 60 years old, who's basically healthy and has no need for maternity, he's paying $1,400 a month, and you can offer them a plan that's going to give them adequate coverage, coverage where they want it and need it, and because it's underwritten, you're able to get a lot more benefit for your dollar, and we're stripping out the mandated coverages that they don't want, and you say to them, and they say, well, what about the fine? You say, okay, let me ask you a question. You could choose to pay the fine of $58 a month or more, to the federal government and get absolutely no benefit for it whatsoever, not even a tax deduction, or you could choose to become exempt for 45 bucks a month and receive a benefit, which would you choose? Right? It's a pretty no-brainer question. Right? So that goes back to our market. Who is our market? Our market is typically people 45 to 64. Now, that doesn't mean you can't write somebody that's 27 or 32. Certainly boys, males, you know, in that age bracket are fine, but because our program does not cover maternity, you got to be a little careful when you talking to the, you know, newlywed couple at 28, right? Because they're still going to tend to be a little on the frisky side and are probably looking to start a family. So this may not be an appropriate product for them. So our market really is that 45 to 64 healthy, and when I say healthy, I mean they don't have to be marathon runners, but they can't have a could have they can't have had a heart attack, cancer five years, can't have any of the oddball stuff like lupus, you know, AIDS, things like that. But for the most part, they'll accept uh, relatively healthy people, and you can have some uh, rate ups, you know, fifteen percent or whatever, based on you know if they're an asthma person or something like that. All right. So who's our market? That's that the people that are paying full rack rate. Right, the self-employed guy, the mover and shaker, you know, the newly retired husband from Westinghouse at 63, losing his health care benefits, all of a sudden has to pay for him himself. He goes out onto the market and goes, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe how expensive health insurance is. Maybe we should not be insured, or oh my, how do we have to pay for this?" Right, so somebody that's basically healthy, you know, paying full rate, and the other component is that they have to be non-tobacco and they have to be able to say I believe in Jesus Christ 
So we're looking for a Christian market, right? Now, they don't have to be devout Christians. They don't have to be, you know, to, to use a, 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 a phrase, a holy roller. I mean, Catholic, Christian, Baptist, Lutheran. All you got to do is basically believe in God, right, and be non-tobacco. You know, they can't be uh, somebody that's an alcoholic or a pole dancer, right? They got to have some kind of moral structure, which is who we're talking to anyway when you're talking to somebody that's, you know, 45 to 64, it's relatively established. They're, they're going to have, you know, pretty good moral background. Otherwise, they typically don't make it that far. Okay, so now we do have an alternative program that we're going to be rolling out with Deb and the good folks at URL that will take tobacco and will take people of other faiths. In other words, Jewish folks or Muslim folks or Hindu folks or, you know, just people that don't really have any faith, but they do believe in a higher power. So, uh, and the reason I say that is because that is the key to it. The key to it is that how you get out of that penalty is IRS publication spells out very simply in IRS publication 5187 that the exemptions under the law are one of those is if you're a member of a health sharing ministry. So it gets you out of the penalty box. And it does it for very affordably at 45 bucks a month. So going back to the previous talking point, if you are paying a fine of 58 bucks a month or more, right, that's the minimum fine. If you're able to get somebody out of that penalty box for 45 bucks and provide additional benefits, it's a good deal for them. Okay? Now, we're going to do a lot more in-depth training once you guys are contracted and up and running and have your software, you know, so I'm not going to go through the whole training process because this presentation, typically when I'm speaking with a client, lasts about an hour to an hour and a half, um, and the key to it is education. It's education. People do not understand how health works. They don't understand the billing processes. They don't understand what a PPO is. They don't understand that they can actually shop for these services, that they can actually find better prices. One of the key lines I talk about is, you know, I don't care what any other big ticket item you bought in your life. I don't care if it's a house, a car, or a diamond ring. The first question you asked the sales rep was, how much? But in healthcare, for some reason, we forgot to become good consumers. We are poor consumers. We're like sheep. The doctor says, I want you to go get an MRI at ABC MRI facility. And we say, okay. We don't ask, oh, by the way, you know, do you have any other places where they can do this procedure for a little less? Or is there any facility that would work better for me in my situation? We don't even ask those questions. All right, so we educate the consumer and we have a lot of tools to provide that information to the client. Okay. So one of the step one is we get them out of the penalty box and we provide kind of a catastrophic coverage. There's a whole slew of benefits that you can choose from. The beautiful thing is with our program, you can go to any doctor, any hospital, anywhere in the country. In other words, you can go to both Highmark and UPMC. All the facilities in the Pittsburgh area are a part of it. We use a national PPO. It's a 50 state PPO called PH. CS multi-plan. Many of you are probably familiar with it. It's actually on the bottom left-hand corner of your UPMC card. So not only can you go to any doctor, we're going to pay the same, but we also part of that PPO. So you also have that pre-contracted rate. You already have the pre-contracted rate if you're at a PPO facility, and it's obviously a very large facility. So again, I'm not going to go through a lot of the finer points, mainly because um, uh, you know, time restraints, um, but I can give you some of the basics, right? So what we're doing is we're actually using a very high-end, robust indemnity plan to pay from the bottom up. And we found that the average cost of a semi-private room in the Pittsburgh area is around 1200 a day. So we typically offer a two-unit plan. One unit is more like a supplemental, but our two-unit program, which is what I carry on myself and my family, will pay the $3,000 per day, which is going to be more than enough to cover the majority of sicknesses should you be in the hospital for sickness. And then, God forbid, you have that situation where 
you know, it was 4,000 a day or 5,000 a day. And again, I'm cutting this quite short. But if you did have that situation, you were in the hospital, and it was 5,000 a day, you were the odd, right? You were the exception, not the rule. You were the catastrophic claim. And you owed 5,000 a day. If you're there for 10 days, the plan's going to pay, the, you would owe 50,000. Well, if the plan, let's say you were in there as an average claim and it was 1500 a day and you're in there for 10 days, you have 15000 Well, the good part about our program is our plan is going to pay 30000 And it's going to pay 30000 no matter what because it's an indemnity plan. So if the bill's 15000 our plan pays thirty. Not only will it pay the bill in full, but it'll cut you a check for fifteen. the client. But they always ask, well, what if? Well, what if I'm five times as sick? What if I'm, I got, you know, congestive, got a quadruple bypass, contracted Ebola and, and you know, broke my ankle all at the same time. What if I'm five, the five percenter? What if I'm the really, really, really sick and the bill's 5,000 a day? Well, we have that covered as well. Because if you were in there for 10 days at 5,000 a day and you have 50,000, the bad part of our plan is that it's only going to pay 30. But if you recall, we have this in the background and this will pay 100% of those expenditures, those unpaid medical expenditures. Right, so the 20000 that you would still owe gets shared with the Christian Sharing Ministry, and it pays the balance off. So you still end up with nothing out of pocket. Okay. And again, there's a whole lot of detail that I go into with this and how it works, and I explain that stuff to you in detail. I explain our clients in detail. But again, I'm just kind of touching the surface with you today uh, to kind of go over just how it works so you have a basic understanding and to show you uh, – you know, give you, you know, some ideas of the kind of money that you can make and the amount of service that you can provide to your clientele and helping them get outside the ACA. It's kind of been a running joke with our organization that we've disenrolled more people out of the Obamacare than the entire Republican Party. And we're probably upwards of, you know, probably about 5,000 people now. But anyway, it pays a strict indemnity benefit. It pays two times RBRVS for the professional services. You have outpatient benefits. We waive deductibles should you have claims in the first year. There's some really nice benefits. We have a very nice concierge service that will help people walk through the entire process. Uh, Teladoc comes with it. We talk about price transparency. This is a great example. You know, if you have an ACA compliant plan, right, and you have a $3,500 deductible and you need to get an ankle MRI, right, and they charge let's say $3,000 for that MRI, the client's on the hook for three grand, right? Didn't even touch their deductible. With our program, our PPO works on their behalf. Let me show you what I mean. For example, if you went to UPMC Presbyterian to get that ankle MRI and they billed 5642 and you had a $3,000 deductible, you owe three grand. What you don't know is that they're actually going to reprice that and send 1473 to UPMC Presby to cover that bill. So with us, even though they build 5642, it's going to get repriced to 1473 first, and then we're going to pay our MRI benefit of 350, so they're only on the hook for 1150. But this is what I mean by becoming a good consumer, right? You give them access to this website that gives you some price transparency, and that's the biggest problem with medical today is that there's a lack of price transparency. So just by contacting our office or going onto this website, they could find that that same ankle MRI can be done at Centerville Commons MRI and CT for a cash price of 350 bucks. Right, so these are the things that we do. Um, there's some additional benefits. Like I said, we package sell, we cover accidents and critical illness with it. I'm gonna show you some claims examples. Um, this one here is probably the most important one because, like I said early on, we found that the average cost of a semi-private room in the Pittsburgh area, let me move this out of the way, is $1,200 a day. Well, this poor guy was in Washington Hospital for 11 days with our program, and he was in there for 11 days, seven of which in the ICU. Now that would not be an, an, an average claim, right? You're in the hospital for 11 days, seven of which are in the ICU. That's a pretty extreme case compared to most claims. So what happened? Well, they billed 56,000 for that. Our actual PPO price or the actual price for that particular stay was only 12,235.68. There was $44,000 worth of markup in that bill. 44,000. 
And if you had a traditional ACA plan with a $3,500 deductible, you'd owe the first $3,500 and 20% thereafter, you'd be on the hook for your out-of-pocket maximum of $7,350. Here's how our program worked. It was repriced at $1,235 first. So we actually got the cash price for that $56,000 claim. So it was discounted $44,000 to $12,235. Now, if you take $12,235 and divide it by 11 days, that comes out to $1,100 a day. So this was a, a very serious case where the guy was in ICU for seven days, for goodness sakes, and the average came out to 1100 a day. So when I tell you that the average price of a semi-private room in Pittsburgh is 1200 a day, I'm not blowing smoke. So here's how our program worked. It actually paid out $19,250. $12,235 was paid directly to Washington Hospital, which paid that claim in full. The guy had zero out-of-pocket. Now think about this. This is with a health insurance plan that's half the cost of a traditional ACA plan. Not only did it pay the claim in full, but it also had $7,014 of excess benefit that was paid directly to the client. He actually used it to pay off his pickup truck. So when I tell you that the program works, it works phenomenally. We've had people that have heart attacks, cancer, leukemia, broken bones, Everything under the sun, it works extremely well, okay? Now, one of the things we talk about with every client is that every health insurance plan has its hold. I don't even care if you have a Cadillac plan. If you have the platinum plan through UPMC with a mere $250 deductible and a small $1,500 out-of-pocket maximum, there's, right, where's the hole at? Well, the whole is the monthly premium, right? You're forking out 3000 a month for the plan. So you're out 3600 That's a pretty big hole, Liza. Right? So every plan has its hole. Our plan has a hole as well. But we do a great job of covering that hole, right? And how we cover that hole, I'm going to move this to the other side now. Let me move this, right? There's different ways that we cover that hole, by adding the accident, by adding the critical illness. Right? by teaching people price transparency. Now, with our program, some of our outpatient benefits, though they are there, they're not the greatest on the planet, but they're not bad. Right? We know what the average cost of a doctor visit is about 100 bucks. So our plan pays 60, so they have 40 out of pocket. That's not a very big hole. Right? Nobody went bankrupt because of the flu. So we really cover the big well, and the small stuff we try to help as much as we can. Even like with prescriptions, we know that the formulary that everybody gets 80% of medicines are less. The cash price is actually less than the copay for that bed. 20% or more. That's how they balance it out. Right? So 80% of the time, this is going to actually outperform your ACA plan, even in the prescriptions. And it is a small benefit of 10 to 20 bucks, but we provide the cash price. Emergency room is another little hole, right? It's only $200. Well, it's an indemnity plan. I can't put 2000 there because people would go to the ER for the flu. And because it's an indemnity plan, we'd have to pay 2000 So we keep that benefit low, and we cover it with an accident rider. Okay, so these are just some of the, the basics. Um, there's actually two chassis. We have this one here, which we call the HSP. And that's the one that I typically use. I like it better. Um, it, surgical benefits are, are what I like. There's a second one called Health Choice Select, where the preventative benefits are better uh, for example there's you know additional maternity uh, mammography coverage and colonoscopy coverage on your preventative side it costs about 12 percent more um, so if, if you're talking to somebody that you know does go to the OBGYN every year they have a bunch of females in the family I'll typically go to that health choice select as opposed to the HSP um, I'm kind of giving you a good roundabout, you know, broad overview of what we're doing. Uh, we help uh, with any of the marketing. If you need any help with marketing, I have national contracts with uh, conservative talk radio and Christian talk radio that drives a boatload of business to us. And our agents that are across the country utilize that because we have a national contract. We get a better spot rate. And we have some... Uh, social media online marketing campaigns that drive traffic to you. And like I said, 
you know, just me personally, I'm writing about a million in open enrollment, maybe about two throughout the year. And it's a it's a whole lot of whole lot of business that keeps you uh, busy. And the beautiful part about it is because you're talking to people that are you know, in that 45 to 64, most of the time, you know, 55, 58, 60, 62, you know, those people are paying the big bucks with ACA. Uh, you're able to save them so much money. You know, if you're saving somebody $7,000 a year, who cares if they got 20 bucks out of pocket for a doctor visit, right? So, um, but the cool part is because they're in that age bracket and you're showing them something that's outside the box, something that really, truly benefits them, that gives them great coverage for a whole lot less. Now what? You're the number one person they're going to want to talk to when it comes to aging in to Medicare. You're the number one person that they would consider talking to about rolling over that 401k or IRA. Right? So it really does put you in the driver's seat with these folks. They absolutely love the program. And that's why I always tell folks, make sure you spend the adequate amount of time with them. Don't, uh, don't shortchange it. Don't just try to write the app real quick. You know, spend the time with them. Teach them about medical counseling. Teach them about how to shop. Teach them how to become good consumers in healthcare today. And you become a valuable, valuable resource for those particular clients. Um, I know we wanted to open up for questions. I only, I know we only have about 20 more minutes or so. Uh, so at this point, you know, other than getting into the actual training aspects, which, you know, we're going to do at a later date, you guys go ahead and get yourselves contracted. Uh, we have a portal on our website that Deb has access to that you can listen to pre-recorded trainings, learn about the products. But once you kind of go through those and you get some basic understanding, uh, then I will be happy to do uh, a one-on-one, -on -one, or not necessarily a one-on-one, -on -one, but a, a group training with the folks that are ready to to uh, start offering this to their clients and and really get you guys up to speed so that you're able to you know, adequately convey this, this information to your clients and become a, an excellent, excellent agent for them. Um, so, Deb, I, I'm going to turn it over to you. Anybody have any questions, be free to ask. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Okay, give me one second here. Let me let me see. I don't think we have many questions. Um, we actually don't have any questions, but um, I can say that I, I think it's it's a really it's it's a niche product for sure. But I think if if you listen to Todd and and understand the concept that it opens it up to a lot of other folks that maybe you haven't thought about before. You know, look at the, the zero cost bronze folks this year. You know, if they're heavily subsidized and they have a zero cost bronze plan, maybe they don't need the purchase or the membership, excuse me, to the Christian Health Share Ministry, but maybe offering this limited medical plan is gonna serve their purpose because they have a zero cost plan with this, this program. Um, you know, your full pricers, definitely those full pricers that, uh, you know, are, are looking at those $1,600 or $2,000 premiums, this is going to be welcome relief for them. And, you know, above all, because of the short selling season, uh, it happens every year that people call and say, I didn't know we were limited on an enrollment. So I think there are more opportunities than even we can think of at, at this point. But if you give it some thought, um, Again, I think that you'll find that there are a lot that that will come to mind. We will schedule a an ACA alternative 201 for those that are licensed and uh, want more information. I also, like Todd said, have other other items, uh, videos, and everything that you can show to your clients or learn more about the product. Um, so as I've okay. been chatting, Todd, questions have come in. Okay, so. so let me uh, let me kind of piggyback off what you were saying. So, yeah, sure. you know, obviously, the the you know the the person that's paying the full rack rate for their health insurance. This is a phenomenal product. It truly does work. It it actually works better than ACA for almost everything. Um, you know, but like you were saying, if you had that person that you know does have a bronze plan, and we've done this a lot of times, right? Instead of selling the gold, we'll sell a bronze or a silver plan and put a one unit with it. 
right, and right. supplement that plan. So it works. So just I want to kind of give you some ideas here on cost, right? So let's say we have Dave, right? Dave's a male, and he is, I don't know, let's say, oh, my, you got to put the. Todd, are you, um, are you on your site? Do you want me to give you back the controls? Oh, yeah, I thought I still had them. Okay, oh, so I yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, okay so you will have it again. And then we do have some questions. Okay, but I'll, I'll just kind of give you a quick, you know, idea of just how affordable this is. And when I say, you know, you have very little out of pocket with this program and you're covering typically better than you, you we, most of the time we have more benefit than bill, right? We have more benefit than bill. And if you do have more bill than benefit, that's what the, Christian Ministries, therefore, it covers that that type of scenario should that happen. Um, but let's just take a look at a, you know a husband and wife, you know, 55 years old, right? You all know what what uh, you know that would run, you know, with a traditional ACA plan. I mean, I think the Select Network, the the big popular plan, the 1800, you know, this year, you know, they're looking at almost a thousand bucks a month for that particular program. So you figure if we're looking at this, and we typically write the 252 unit plan with a $2,500 deductible, we're at 519. You know, you added 90 bucks on it for Christian sharing, they're at 600. You're saving them 40%. You're saving them, you know, 400 a month, 5,000 a year. That's a whole lot of deductible. All right. So, Peg, with questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's undock these. Oops, I need to take back controls, Todd. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, questions. And we have a lot. Um, Elizabeth has a question. Is the pricing per person, or is it pricing per person, is there a family price and or husband and wife premium? Maybe that was just answered. It is 45 per person for the Christian Health uh, ministry membership yes, and that's yes, capped at three. 45, 45 per person for Christian sharing, max three. So right, if right. they have a husband, wife, and 17 kids, it's still 135. And Dana asks if, asks if a copy of the presentation will be made available. Absolutely. It's going, you'll get the recording, Dana. And what I'll do is ask Todd to send me the, the slide deck and that will also be available. Uh, Joe says, how do we contract? Is there a minimum we must sell? There is not, Joe. Any compensation or did I miss that part? There is compensation. The, the comp schedule is attached. It is 20% on the accident and the limited medical plan. And with the critical illness rider, you can really, a blended commission uh, could go 25-ish or more. Um, I can get you contracted, Joe, so I will, if you want to just give me the go ahead to do that, I will um, get your agency contracted. And Susan said, this has to be requalified for year to year. Is that correct? No. Once it's issued, guaranteed issue, guaranteed renewable to 65. There you go. Um, and Scott asks uh, what the out-of-pocket costs are, and that... Um, you know, that I think would vary based on the plan you chose, correct, Todd? Yeah, it's going to vary based on the plan you chose, you know, how they utilize the program. Um, but I, it, it's almost, it would almost be hard. It would almost be hard. You'd have to be almost a complete and total idiot to, to have less out of pocket, more out of pocket than you would with an ACA. All right. Um, Elizabeth asks, how soon the tobacco plans will be available? Um, They're available right about. now. We're in the process of developing the, uh, you know, the training and PowerPoint presentations, how to sell it, all that fun stuff. And that should be, we, we're rolling that out to you guys here probably within the week. Perfect. And this is a great question from Jim. He says, how do you, how, how do you coordinate the costs and the claims with the Christian Health Share Ministry? So what's okay. that coordination and benefit process like? All right, so just about on any claim, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be handing in your, your Philly card, right, with your PHCS multi-plan 
it's electronic billing, so the billing goes, you know, Joe goes to the hospital, you got a $10,000 or $15,000 bill, it goes to PHCS, it gets repriced, it's then sent to Philadelphia American, they pay their full indemnity benefit. At that point in time, most of the claim is covered. Now, should they have some kind of an oddball thing? At that point, let's say they had $15,000 of unpaid medical expenses, it's a big claim for whatever reason, and you would be able to take that, that 15,000, show what Philadelphia American paid on it, that covers your out-of-pocket, or what they call a personal responsibility with a Christian sharing, and then they send that off to Christian sharing. They will then contact that hospital, uh, negotiate the price down as much as they can, then pay off the balance. It's a pretty simple process. Um, and with uh, the Philly product, we also offer Keras, which is that concierge service. They will help with that process as well. It's not very difficult at all. Okay. And um, Tim asks, what is the proof required for the religious affiliation? And I can answer that one, Todd. There is an attestation form um, that is asked to be signed. Is there anything additional that you want to add to that, Todd? Uh, typically, you know, the underwriting aspect of that is, you know, are you non-tobacco? Do you believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior? And it is an online process. Uh, or it's it can an online be. process. And make sure I make sure this is very clear. You absolutely, under no circumstance, are you selling the Christian sharing ministry. What you're doing yeah. is you're educating the client about the Christian sharing ministry. You give them the link. They go to the website. They fill out the form. It is separate billing. It is a separate organization. They want nothing to do with insurance agents. Right, so it's an educational process. So you educate the client, hey, this is an exemption. You can choose to pay the fine if you want, or you can choose to join the ministry. That's your choice. Right. right? So you, you send them off and you just kind of give them the information they need for them to go do it on their own. Now, with the new one, that one is a commissionable product. It is something that you sell. You do have to be licensed in the state to sell it. And uh, you know, so that's a that's a that's a different animal. Okay. Um, so here's a question that I can also answer. Do you have to be licensed to sell the ACA in order to sell this plan? No. Um, you can just be licensed to sell the Philadelphia American Limited Medical Plan, and Susan, I can uh, coordinate that with you. Um, Susan, another student, Susan asks, where on the URL site is the contract option? Trying to learn your new site. It is still in the same place, but Susan, uh, Sue Sloan, I uh, wrote your name down, and we'll get that information down to Tish, our Director of Contracting, and she will take care of that. Um, Susan also asks if the Christian Health Share Ministry is 90 per month per person. It is 45 per person, capped at three per family. Um, another great question. How, can I? Can and HSA be used with these plans? What was the question? Can an HSA be used with these plans? Ah, it is a good question. You can use the money that is inside the ACA to cover the out-of-pocket expenses that the plan doesn't cover. You In cannot contribute to the HSA. Okay, so there you go. If you've have, had an established health savings account with money still in there, you can no longer contribute, but you can uh, just like with any other plan, pull out from those funds to, to pay for uh, eligible services. Yeah, so if you have an uh, HSA, I always tell my folks, you know, load it up. Yep. Okay, Michael wants contracting. Michael, I'll coordinate that with you. Lori says, let me see. Are there underwriting requirements on weight and pre-existing? And yes, Lori, there, there are. I have an underwriting guide and we'll be getting that up on our site. That's gonna answer a lot of questions about your you know, acceptable industries uh, and, and it's writing. It's pretty liberal. It's a pretty yeah. liberal underwriting. You know, the height and weight tables are <laughs> they're pretty liberal. Um, and, you know, again, major stuff, right? Heart's the big one. Yeah, heart, heart attack or stent, that's a decline. Right. Answer um, five years. 
And this question was answered, but just to just to kind of drive it home, it is $45 per month per person, capped at three times per family. You do not sell the Christian Health Share Ministry uh, program, as Todd mentioned. We educate, we give the product or the link to the client, and they sign up themselves. Patty says, "What is not covered?" Now that may take more time than we have. Um, you know, and, and certainly I don't know if you have everything memorized, but what are the big ones that, that you know are not covered, Todd? Um, it's not that it's not covered. It's just may not be covered as much as somebody thinks, right? So, for example, uh, chiropractor. Right? You go to the chiropractor on your UPMC chassis, you may have like a $50 copay per chiropractor visit, limit 20, something like that, right? This isn't going to pay anything for the chiropractor unless it's due to some incident, right? You wrecked your car or something, right? But even if it did, anybody knows, you go to the chiropractor, you pay the cash price, it's gonna be like 25 bucks. So yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, no maternity coverage. We did have a lady that was 42 years old that ended up getting pregnant. You know, of course she moaned and groaned. I'm like, how could you not know that it doesn't cover maternity? I probably told you 500 times. That was the only kind of real problem we ever had. Um, actually, when it was all said and done, they apologized to us. Uh, I can't really think of any other real holes. You know, um, we did a pretty good job of covering those holes. And Patty, um, what I can do is email you um, the underwriting guide. Psychiatric care, right? Outpatient psychiatric, like you can't go to your shrink. It's not gonna pay for your yeah. shrink. Inpatient, it will. You know, you get committed, but it won't pay for outpatient, you know. I'm really well, upset I, with my world, you know. I also think that, you know, a couple things happened this week, and I think it's, it, it goes along with these type of programs. Um, and then I'll ask you the next question, the combination question that came in. But, you know, we've had two instances this week, myself personally, where I'm insured, I'm on a health savings account plan, and I went to have a, a service. And I said, well, if you don't put it through the insurance, what's my cash price? And they, of course, were adamant, no, you have insurance, so we have to bill it through insurance. Now, I, I could have pushed a little harder, but I didn't. Um, but I think that's kind of where what you're faced with, uh, because clearly the providers get a lot more when billing through insurance carriers, because you know the, the reimbursement rate is so much higher. But Another person that uh, is a friend of mine had a small surgery, surgical procedure, easy for me to say, um, and they were the, the cost was $1,100. He asked what the cash price would be, and it came down to $500. So there are so many opportunities like that to really truly, once and, all, and for all, be good consumers of health insurance, and that's what it's going to take to combat this craziness in the ACA. So having said that, there's a combined uh, sort of question that talks about, does the insurance company pay the hospital directly um, or is it sent to the owner? And that the Christian Health Share Ministry plans typically requires the clients to send in bills directly. So can you just briefly, again, kind of go through that process? Okay, so the facility, which is the majority, is part of the PHCS multi-plan. The billing is done electronically. If the bill is covered, and there's more benefit than bill, the, the uh, excess benefit check will be sent directly to the client income tax free. If there's more bill than benefit, the bill will be sent to the client. Now, if that bill, the, you know, say they went to the doctor and the doctor's charged $100 and our plan paid 60, they're gonna get a bill for 40 bucks, right? But if it was say a claim where they fell down the stairs, they broke their arm and their leg, and the bill was 15,000, well, because the bill is 15000 it now qualifies for Christian ministry, right? It's over 5000 So let's say our plan paid out ten, and there was a $5,000 balance. You would take that $5,000 balance with proof that we paid ten already, send it to Christian sharing, and they would pay the balance. So that's where any kind of little bit of paperwork would come in. It's not much. Our office helps with it, and I'm sure Deb's office would help with that as well. Um, it's not a very difficult process. And again, we have the CARES 360 which also helps with that whole, uh, you know, stem the stern process when it comes to claims. All right. And um, 
there are some questions that I will. Uh, so, so Patty asks about preventive and pre-ex. I think we talked about that, but do you want to just kind of briefly talk okay. about that? All right, so pre-ex. Uh, anything that you've been treated for, tested for, or taken medication for in the previous 12 months will have no insurance benefit for the following 12 months. Still re eligible for PPO pricing, just won't have the insurance benefit. Where that comes into play mostly is on the prescription benefit somebody's currently taking high blood pressure or cholesterol medicine, we won't pay the 10 bucks for the first year. After the first year, all pre-ex is covered as normal. There was a second part to the question, I can't remember what it was. Um, preventive and- Preventive. That's so it has a hundred, the, the, there's two chassis, the HSP has a $125 preventative benefit most of the time that's used for your PCP annual physical or an OBGYN visit. The other chassis, the Health Choice Select, has a more robust preventative. It also includes, besides the initial 125, a 125 benefit for mammograms, 300 in the first three years for colonoscopy, and year four it goes to 600 for a colonoscopy screening. Um, so it's a little bit more robust on the preventative side. Now, you know, Colonoscopy is a big one people talk about all the time. So if it's a screening, the screening benefit's kicking in. But if you go in and you have, you know, a polyp removed, that's considered outpatient surgery. So the plan typically pays out 3000 on that because you're under general anesthesia. The deductible's waived, so it kicks out a check for three grand. And, uh, you know, typically that comes in at around PPO price of around 2100 1900 somewhere. So the client typically ends up with a, you know, Five to a thousand dollars in their pocket, which makes that chalk taste a little better, I guess. All right, and last question is from Joe. He says, um, "Explain how we educate them about the Christian Life Ministries. Can we show them how to get a quote?" And the answer to that is yes, because you give them the link. Um, and he said, "Can you give another example of a possible prospect to client process?" Uh, another prospect to client process. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not. Sure. Well, I think. He, I think he kind of wants to know. Um, you know, when that phone rings, uh, they pick it up, they talk, and I've gone through the training with Todd. But essentially, you you look at the the ACA costs, or they already have looked at those and have said, Uncle, we can't afford them. So you educate them about an alternative. Um, just like Todd did, you show them what, you know, that, that with the ACA, one of the exemptions to pay that tax penalty would be to be a part of the Christian Health Share Ministry. So you educate them about that. Again, you're giving them the link. You are not the link for the Christian Health Share Ministry. You're not selling them that. Yeah, you don't sign them up for it, right? Don't fill out the form for them. Don't submit the form for them. You make them do that on their own. Right. You are essentially selling them a limited medical plan, talking about adding that uh, extended accident and also the critical illness and talking about those benefits combined. That's what you're selling. And, you know, as a means to the end, the Christian Health Share Ministry. Yeah, so a typical, but, a typical presentation, you know, I'm talking to Joe and Mary, right? And they have an ACA plan. And, oh, okay, well, so what do you have? Oh, well, we have this, you know, 30 silver, 3250. You know the, the premium is twelve hundred bucks a month. Okay, do you understand how that plan works? And I'll I'll break it down. Okay, so you have this thirty two hundred fifty dollars deductible. So in other words, if you had a get an MRI and that MRI was four thousand dollars, how much do you owe? Right. So we do a lot of these uh, over the phone. You know, as a webinar. In fact, probably ninety eight percent of them are over the phone. So the key to the selling aspect of that is asking questions, keeping them engaged, right? Asking them questions, asking them all kinds of things, math questions, all these kinds of stuff. So once they have a good understanding of where the holes are in their current plan, then I show them the alternative, right? So, and then I explain to that and I tell them the good, the bad, and the ugly. I make sure they understand every part of it. That way it never comes back. That's why they stay on the book so good. Um, you know, we also, with this chassis, it comes with a gap. We have a gap plan as well. So a lot of the times I'm doing presentations, particularly during open enrollment or if they have a special exemption, you know, I'll show them that UPMC plan. And I'll talk to them the difference between a silver plan and a platinum plan. 
and why it costs so much more for the platinum plan and the, the concept of guaranteed issue. Then I'll teach them about underwriting and how we can use an underwritten gap plan to turn a silver plan into a platinum plan for, you know, pennies on the dollar. You know, so there's a whole lot of stuff, and that's more into the training aspects when I'm talking to you guys, and we're we're actually training on the product to get you to, ready to go out and sell it. But yes, there's there's a whole uh, uh, presentation module that I use, and I would recommend that that it works. So I would recommend don't don't try to reinvent the wheel. Right. Um. Okay. One last question is diabetes i'm looking in the underwriting guide insulin okay. diabetic decline yeah okay so there's your answer marianne um we're gonna we've had a lot of other questions there are group products associated with this we're going to get those up and running uh fairly soon we are going to have all of the information on our our website available to you to pull off just like you know on any of our other resources but if you want information, please just shoot me an email and I can uh, work through those emails uh, one by one and get some information out to you before they're loaded on our site. Also, if you want uh, contracting, just shoot me an email and let me know. My email is, you ready? Deb W at U-R-L-I-N-S group.com. So that's Deb W at U-R-L-I-N-S group.com. Shoot me an email with what you want, and I will I will take care of that. Um, we are just at an hour, so I always like to respect your time, everyone's time in, in uh, this busy season that we're in. As always, I truly appreciate everyone joining in. For those of you that have mentioned that you want contracting, I've written those down. I'm going to get that down to Tish. And again, I encourage you to um, check back in. We'll be getting everybody out an invitation that gets licensed for the more advanced training 201, which I, I think will um, help answer some of these you know, additional questions. But we're here to help, so please give me a call or shoot me an email with any questions you may have. Todd, I truly appreciate your time. Your team has been great to work with. You've been great to work with. So. Um, Hopefully we can get this going and and make a lot of people happy that uh, are currently very unhappy with these rates. So thanks everyone again.